Students at Southern Oak Elementary School were recently treated to a new experience when the Wheels on Wheels outreach program rolled onto their campus. It's a one-of-a-kind program that utilizes a converted school bus as a mobile clay wheel lab. Tell us how the Wheels on Wheels program began. Uh, it was a fun idea that I've had for a really long time. It's just as a very expensive idea to bring to life. And we had the Puglialis uh, Anastasakis uh, Foundation approach us with a, what my wish list was. I was like, well, here, this would be great if we could have this bus. I could retrofit with 12 electric potter's wheels, a generator, so that we can have 12 students inside. And then outside, we have another 12 working on hand building. What can they expect when they go through the wheels to wheels? Um, basically, we start out um, talking about the clay bodies we're using, which is a self-drying, air-dry clay, but it also can be fired in kilns, so it's much closer to what you would use in a regular clay studio. Um, we have a terracotta color that we use outside the bus, and we have the white, a uh, mexo white, that we use inside the bus. So they make um, uh, two pieces outside the bus, like pinch pots, you know, traditional pinching methods, uh, coil, rolling coils, scoring. And we talk about slip, but with this particular thing, since it doesn't go in the kiln with us, uh, we don't get into the slip part. And so inside with the wheel, they walk them through the steps on what the parts of the wheel are, how it works, and then the steps on how to throw a bowl. And then they go and they do that. So they walk away with three pieces after the the experience. The kids really enjoy the hands-on. I mean, clay is always the number one popular uh, media for kids. They, they can't wait to do it. Um, they have a lot of ideas and things that they want to, to put into effect with clay. Um, and they're always super excited. They want to uh, take it further in class when we get to it. Um, I have it as my curriculum throughout the year anyway for each of the grades. And so the, the, the older students, the fourth and fifth grade students that I have doing this, usually they act as little ambassadors when it's time for us to do our clay projects. Um, and they can help with the scratch attach smooth, uh, all of the different uh, joining methods and subtraction additives, subtractive methods. They just, they, they're really excited. They spread the, they spread the joy of it. I made a coil pot with a little handle and right now I'm making a pinch pot. The hardest part is trying to do stuff without freaking out about it. It was complicated at first, but once I started making my shape, it was easier. There are a lot of kids who haven't done this before, and I haven't done it either. So I think it's a privilege because not a lot of kids have or got to do this. I thought it was kind of cool for me to sit down and focus on something in an artist's, in an artist's perspective for something that is fun and touching because I got chosen. And today is my birthday, so I'm happy because of that. 